Welcome back to Franbo. Let's talk to these strange creatures and see what they have to say. Wow, this is a really big insect. Okay, yeah, so it looks like it has a pig snout. I thought it looked like it had a pig snout before, but now that I've heard it, and what it sounds like, that is definitely like a pig's head. So a pig's head with like a roly-poly body. Or is it a pig? Well, it's very odd. Indeed. It's kind of cute, though. And this one seems... wise. Oh, wow. You really are a very big ant. Who's there? Oh, excuse me, sir. Are you real? Ah, you always ask the same thing. Always. Always? What do you mean by always? Of course I'm real. Where did you come from? Oh, I escaped the mental hospital. But please don't tell anybody. I won't tell, don't worry. But what are you doing here? My cat is out here somewhere and I have to find him. A cat, you say? Yes, sir. A black cat. With very big yellow eyes. Mr. Midnight. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, girl. Oh, so you haven't seen it? It happens to be that the cat is eaten. Chewed and swallowed. No. No, no, I don't believe you. Eaten? What do you mean? The black cat that came towards me in a hurry. I catch it. I give it to my beetle pig. Oh, so that's what that thing is. Beetle pig. My beetle pig is hungry. Oh, my poor beetle pig hasn't had any food in days. The blueberry time passed by and we ate them all. Stop it. Can't you see? Mr. Midnight is the only one I have. Please, tell me that you're joking. Oh, little girl, don't cry. I can sing for you if you like. What will I do now? You don't know how it feels to be alone. I do know, yes. I'm the last one alive. Let me help you, yes? How could you possibly help me? The digestion is not so fast, you know. Maybe he's still alive inside the beetle pig. Oh god. I'm kind of scared that Mr. Midnight is just going to come out partially digested. Uh, okay, but what should we do? Kill the beetle pig. He's also the only friend I have left. But I need the meat. What? Uh, I, I don't want to kill the beetle pig. I'm curious to know if my kitty is still in there. Do it. You can kill the beetle pig. And I, Antonio the Greatest, shall eat the meat. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I don't have anything to kill it with. I really don't want to kill the beetle pig. Oh, you pig. Did you eat my cat? Mr. Midnight, just wait. Don't die. I'll take you out of there real soon. Um, unless I can bash the beetle pig over the head with this door, I don't think I have what I need. Nope. Hey there. Little hedgehog. What kind of bird are you? You look like an owl. Is that it? Your feathers are beautiful. Oh, God, well, I think this is what I'm gonna kill to uh, use to kill the beetle pig. Whoa, the terrible axe. I will be the warrior and savior of things. Hmm, I don't know about that. Today, I think you're gonna be a killer. Okay. Here we go. I'm sorry, beetle pig. Oh. Come back here.
<laughs> okay, it's gonna move back and forth. Hmm. Wake up. The pig won't stay still. It seems that shouting and pushing him won't help. Oh, he's sleeping. I know. Give him a good whack with the axe. No, okay. Good whack with the door. No, okay. Maybe I have to try something more subtle. Hmm. Right on his face with the crayon. He'll be so embarrassed when he wakes up. Oh, wait, no, I'm trying to wake him up. Hmm. Alright, let's go to the other realm. Okay, I know that there's a ghost here. <laughs> curiosity is damned. Damn you, curiosity. Oh, I like to be curious. Otherwise, how will you learn things? But what are you? You're kind of curious yourself. What is the right question? But why should be more appropriate? I don't have time to chat, sir. I want the key, that's all. Oh, but that key isn't ours. And it's not yours, for sure. It's always good to have an extra key, especially when you're up to something. We couldn't care less. The affection towards you is simply none. You are very honest. I like that. I'm a person. Fran. Pleased to meet you. Interesting. Tell us more. Hmm. So they're curious, but I thought curiosity was damned. Uh, hmm. I'm lost, I think. I'm trying to find my cat. Really? Yes, really. Now, please, give me the key. Look, person friend, we came from the south. Flying, as always. And one of us got curious about this key. And all of us got stuck here. <laughs> they got stuck in the tree. They were flying and then they went for this key and then they got all twisted and tangled. And because of our long hair, we can't get loose. I see. Yes, long hair you have. Can I help you? Uh, we usually get stuck on trees. But we have something to fix that. A beautiful comb to comb our hair every time we get stuck. Alright, do that then. There is a problem. A filthy thief took the comb. Now we are stuck forever. If you find the thief in the comb, you will have the key. Deal? Yes, but what does he look like? It's a rat. A filthy narcissist rat. He took the comb to be beautiful. We couldn't do much, so he ran away with it. Please find it, and free us from curiosity. I hope he hasn't gone too deep in the forest. I'll find him. We will be here, waiting. Okay, so I'm on the lookout for a narcissistic rat. Gotcha. Make an entry. Uh. Okay. Ah, there's a ghost there. Oh well. I could try to open it and see what's inside. I can't move the top. It's stuck. Just my luck. Can't force it with my delicate hands. I need something else. Mm, what about the axe? There we go. Oh, I scared away the owl. Oh, but I dropped a feather. Ooh, a feather. Tickle, tickle. I'll keep it. I like it. The owl's missing feather. Not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. 
Oh, you know what? I could probably use that to wake up the ant. Yes. What a bluff. There's no hole in here. All my forces united to do something unnecessary. There must be a meaning. Otherwise, it wouldn't be here. Make an entry. Well, I have a door. Can I construct an entry? I should make it into a complete door before trying this. Okay. So I guess it needs like a handle and stuff. Or can I just like draw on it? No. Okay, uh, we should save that for later. Wakey, wakey, Antonio. Tickle, tickle. Ah, the threat is great, great. Sir, wake up now. I think the beetle pig doesn't like the idea of being killed. Oh, I see. But that is completely normal, isn't it? Well, yeah. But <laughs> it doesn't solve my problem. Uh, yes, but what should I do then? You have to give him the special berries. The blueberries. Hmm. I see, but where do I find these berries then? Uh, I shouldn't say this to you, but I have the right connections. They live inside my house. They have blueberries. My house is in that direction. Be careful. Oh, thank you, sir. <gasps> Look, friend, I'm in danger. Yes, I noticed. Find me alive, find me dead. Good night, Mrs. Moon. A little tiny house. <laughs> the mushrooms. Hello, I'm Fran. This looks tasty. Should I? Uh, maybe not. Let's look inside. Hello, is somebody home? It looks like a lamp is lit. But I can't see anybody. Hello. Um, there's no smoke coming out the chimney. Is that a mushroom growing out of the chimney? A mushroomy pipe on the roof. Why did he put a mushroom on the pipe? Maybe he lost it. This must be the ant's house. It seems to be open, but very stuck. The power of destruction will take it down. Indeed. Good thinking, Fran. Oh no, I broke the door. Well, now I can get in. Door handle. To handle big problems. I'll keep it. Okay, let's combine that with the door. Mm, this is perfect, but the handle won't stay on. Okay, so I need screws or glue or something. Almost got all the parts for our door. This is a really big anthill. It's scary to think how many millions of ants must be inside. I'm not sure if I want to go inside then. There's water in the sink. Maybe Sir Ant likes to drown tiny monsters in there. <laughs> Wouldn't that be ironic? A giant ant drowning tiny monsters. I shouldn't take other stuff, but I want super glue for the attachment. Ah, okay, so let's use that right now. On the handle, on the door, and there we go. I made a door. I wonder where, where it will lead me to. The, qu 
queen of meat. Hmm. Wow, ant queen. I never saw anything like this. Sir Ant must be in love with her. Someone forgot to clean the brush. It's firmly attached to the door. Oh, it was used for glue and then put on the door and now it's just stuck. Old people are so fun. They do unexpected things. Hmm, tea time, sir. Uh, what is this? Underpants? They smell good. Grandpa soap. <laughs> what a cozy little lamp. This is odd. I thought ants never cooked their meals. But then again, I'm all confused and he's not an ant. Even if I wanted to take the meat, I can't reach it. Oh, there we go. He wouldn't mind if I take a little meat for those who hunger. Mm, it's definitely not the berries that I need, though, right? Already got one piece of meat, I won't touch that again. Fair enough. I wish I could sleep with my kitty on this bed. But I think that under the blankets will be a lot of creatures. Like bugs and such that would like to eat my brain. Oh, look at this tiny house. Oh my god! There's pinecone creatures living inside the house. And there's the berries. They're kind of, like, really terrifying looking, but they're so small that they're kind of cute. Oh! That's blueberries. Ow, that hurts. Okay, I don't think they speak my language. Sir, you look so angry. Your family is very nice, Sir Pinecone. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool. Wow, you're very rare. Lady Pinecone, what are you cooking? Don't be scared. I just want some berries. <gasps> oh god! Baby Pinecone, so sweet. Yeah, you just knocked him over, though. Oh, don't fall off the chair. Be careful. You're the one making him fall off the chair. You be careful. Oh my god, Fran. Um, hmm. I wonder if I can do this and then go for the berries. No. I feel so bad, I'm just like messing with them so much. They must think I'm such an asshole, because honestly, I am an asshole. Hmm. I think I have to trick him, but how? Indeed. Trick him with what? I've got a slab of meat, I don't think that's gonna do anything. petting him. There you go, Mr. Pinecone. Hmm. Let's see what's in the other world here. Oh, Jesus. I'm inside the anthill. Bugs, 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 lots of bugs. You tiny creatures, please don't eat me. Get off the bag, I want it. Did you eat this man's flesh? That's repulsive. My goodness, a pest exterminator, and he's dead. Sir, you have tons of ants on you. I think they're trying to steal your bag. Okay, I think I need to distract the ants with the meat. There we go. Now we can get the bag. It worked. Now this bag is mine. Oh, a rat trap. And some sort of card.
Um, the text is almost gone. <laughs> Look at the picture of that bug. It's like the bug is angry that you stole its pants, or something like that. It's like, give me back my damn pants! It says exterminator. Poor tiny monsters. The bug looks seriously mad. Yeah. I can see something. It says, uh, bug something John... Plomit. And then there's a number. 714-21728. Um, I must do something with this at some point, but not yet. Rat trap. I have to be careful and not trap my fingers. Don't tell me I have to trap one of these things in a rat trap, do I? That'd be kind of cruel. Oh no, I do? Rat traps usually kill whatever gets stuck in them, right? Oh god. Okay. Here we go. I'm sorry, Mr. Pinecone. Oh. I got you. Sorry, sir, but I really need the berries. Ah, now the mom is hitting me. Bad mama. There we go. Got them. They smell delicious. Oh no, they locked the door. <laughs> they finally got sick of me terrorizing them. I wonder why it took them so long. Uh, it looks like uh, Mr. Pinecone is okay, though. Because Mr. Pinecone is, well, a pinecone and really, really tough and hard. Oh. Hi. You only showed up in the other world before, and now you show up in the so-called normal world. Where did you go? Hmm. Okay. There you go. Hmm, I don't want to kill it. Eh? Oh. I'm sorry, Beetle Pig. You're not Mr. Midnight. That's not a cat, that's the rat. The rat that has the comb, no? What? You're not my cat. Oh, miss, you saved me from misery. Good for you, but I was hoping to find somebody else. I assume that you're feeling disappointed. Who are you looking for? What is the point of everything now? I was looking for my cat. Oh, Miss Lady. I'm not very fond of cats, you know. A black one with very big yellow eyes was trying to catch me. Really? My cat is also black. Wait, maybe that cat is my cat. Oh, my lady. If he is, then he's the one in trouble now. Why? What happened? I can show you. Follow me, please. It's not far from here. Ah, uh, let me guess, it's down the well? Here we are. Somebody took a miss. They just disappeared. Oh my goodness. Could you be more specific? I wish I could. It looked like the earth swallowed them. If there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know. I'll be around. Yep, it's gotta be the well. The rat's dead in this world. Rat? Who did this to you? Was it my kitty? Okay, let's use a completed door. This is really odd. My own door is locked. Ah. Open! Why are you closed? I made you. I command you to open. I'm your creator. I guess the door won't listen. I have to get the key. Okay, have to get the key, which means I need the comb. How do I get the comb from the rat? Where is the rat? Hmm. 
Excuse me, did you steal a hair comb? Oh, the hair comb. The shiny, beautiful hair comb. Can I have it, please? All right, then. But can you please comb my hair first? Uh... Sure. Yes, I can comb your hair. There you go. Thank you, my lady. You are very kind. Here's your beautiful comb, mistress. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Look at how happy the bleeding face is. Oh, you, Fran the person, you finally did it. Hope the key opens the door you wish it to open. Now we fly south at last. Goodbye. Beautiful. Goodbye, shiny misters. Have a nice trip. I got the key. It worked! Woohoo! Such a small doorway, though. What a curious little door. I wonder where it will lead me. Mr. Midnight, are you here? goodness. Where am I? <laughs> that hat. Huh? What is this? A hat? Mr. Midnight? Oh no. Your head. Kitty? Wait just a second. This is not my kitty. What a weird hat. Anyways, I have to find Kitty. I hope you're here somewhere. I was put in this little, like, sleeping pen, as if I was a pet myself. It's fun to see what people have in their homes. Let me see. Bottles, a milk jar, and dry flowers. Are those eyes? Ugh. Hmm, a head from a human, I guess. Skulls always look so happy. I close the window so the cold wind stays out. I open the window so the cold wind comes in. Uh, let's keep it out for now. A painting of a teapot with painted tea inside. A cooker to cook. My mommy told me how to use this. I don't like to light matches, though. It always feels like it could burn my entire face. Oh. <gasps> do I get to do some baking? Oh my god. I love baking. If I actually get to do some baking, I'm gonna be so happy. Please tell me I get to do baking. I see flour, Baking soda, honey. Uh, I think it's just a cookie jar. I don't know what that is. Is that a rose? Flower makes me sneeze. But that's a funny feeling. King Leo's baking soda. This always makes the biggest cupcakes. Honey bear, you taste fabulous. Mmm, yummy. 
cookies in all colors and flavors. A pine cone? I don't dare to touch it. Maybe it'll attack me. I don't have soup. I don't need a spoon. To dry my little hands. Oh, a sharpie shiny knife. It can be good to have you. Spatula. It sounds like Dracula, but in a spa. <laughs> oh, friend. Baking powder to make soft dough bigger and beautiful. Sharpie knife to cut stuff and protect me and Kitty from evil. Hmm, why is this part painted in black and white? Maybe they didn't have enough to paint everything. I guess everyone has different styles and tastes. Mr. Midnight? Those girls. They took my kitty. I don't like to be selfish, but that is my kitten. Firewood to keep the chimney warm. Poor trees. I won't lay down in that thing. Oh, welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Huh? This is not home. I guess they thought I was a cat. They can't love me. They don't even know me. Let's see what the other world looks like here. Oh, wow. That's very, very different. A secret bottle with a secret inside. I'm very curious right now. Me too. Mm, I don't think I can reach it. Nah. Jesus. It's a dead child. That's another dead child. Strung up on the wall with vines. Hello, little baby. What are you doing here? Nobody loves you, but you're so pretty. I like you. At least you're on the wall, like a picture, so everybody can see you. Oh, I see you have a comfortable there, little baby. Did your mommy drop you? I bet she did it because she was sick. It's not your fault. You seem fresh. Are you still alive? You're a clever little baby. You took your placenta with you. <laughs> so clever. <laughs> uh, the placenta's like a jetpack of blood and nutrients. <laughs> yep, that's true. It's true. Hmm. Hmm. Can she make the jump? I can't get there from here. I need a bridge. I need like a plank or something. I definitely don't have it. Hmm. Wait a minute. What if I switch back to reality? Oh, it just teleports you. Okay. I was like, what happens? You know, are you just gonna like fall down to the ground or something? I won't sit down. Fair enough. They sure like pictures of meat. This doesn't bring me any good memories. Ah, more baking ingredients. I wonder who Mush is. Because he owns all the mushrooms. Oh, it opened! And what is that inside? What an odd little thing. It looks like a seed. This smells like a weed we had in our garden. I don't remember its name. Salt. A very good ingredient. I don't like beans that much. This bag smells funny. I won't touch it. Squirrel's body parts? I don't want to know. Kitty likes to play with olives. I guess he thinks they're insects. 
there is garlic. If there is garlic, there are no vampires. Pepper. Always good to dress up the soup. I won't take somebody else's food. N not all of it, anyways. What a pretty can. Alright, we've got salt and pepper and a seed. A rare seed. I wonder what kind of flower will grow from it. I too am curious. The window's locked. Great. Okay. So I can get water if I want. Oh, a dancing teddy. It doesn't have shoes. But it does have a tie. That makes Teddy happy. This looks like a plant. They don't smell. Well, they must be plastic flowers then. I have matches. To light up the darkness or just for fun. Takes me back here again. Hmm. I wonder if I can grow you in the nightmare realm. Wait a minute, use moonlight seed. Wait, this is a moonlight seed? It actually was popping up with something. Use moonlight seed with moonlight reflection. Oh, I... huh. I feel like I solved that before I was actually supposed to. Honestly, I was thinking something more grim. I was thinking about using the, uh, apparently it's called a moonlight seed, on the baby because of the placenta, because she mentioned it's full of nutrients, and... I mean, I guess a seed doesn't really need nutrients to survive. I, well, it does, but it doesn't need nutrients to sprout because it's already... like it contains everything it needs to germinate to begin with. Of course, it does need nutrients after it sprouts. But I don't know, I was thinking of like planting it in the placenta or something. I don't know. And uh, I guess I just got lucky. Wow. This really is a nice blue rose. A magic blue rose. It grew on water. Huh. I have no idea what I'm going to do with that yet. Oh my god. They obviously love their sweets. <laughs> this makes me really, really hungry. Oh my god. Cake and cake and candy and cupcakes and tarts and whatever that is. Mmm. What a tiny house in the middle of nowhere. A walk on the beach wouldn't take so long. Looks like somebody lives there. They have a chimney. That was a mysterious woman. I like the blue rose. I never saw a rose in the ocean. Maybe it's an old story. Oh, I guess this is your hint about the rose. Maybe the moon gave her the rose because he loves her. Look at those stairs. Some serious faces from these two kids. Their faces look familiar. But I'm not sure. Could it be? This is not my cup. The teapot has no tea at all. Sugar in many colors. Delicious and beautiful. The cake looks absolutely yummy. Oh my god, it does. <laughs> Chocolate cake, my favorite. Should I? Uh, maybe just a little. Mmm, delicious. Oh god, she actually just ate it. I hope it's not poisoned or something. Maybe just a Yeah, just a little more. Mmm. Sweet candy. Could eat the whole thing. Caramel sauce all over it. 
Ooh, a vase to put some flowers in it. It has ashes inside. Is that a flying pig? I wonder if any friendly animals would like to fly with us. Now I understand what the deer wanted back in the hospital. It didn't want to get its head fixed. It wanted its head on the wall. Silly me. Yeah, Fran. Exactly. <laughs> Cozy and warm. I could burn things here. Things that I don't need. But you never know when you'll need some things. Firewood in line to be burnt. Oh my god, this house is so big. Uh, hold on, let's stay here for now. Hmm. So it seems like anywhere in the house leads back to here. Okay, well, I've got a flower vase and I've got a flower. Can I combine them? No? Hmm. I'm still looking for a board or something like that that will allow me to get the message in the bottle. I've got the knife to cut the, uh, cut the rope. But yeah, I need something to help me walk. A flower vase with ashes inside. Hmm. Maybe I need to, like, dump the ashes. I wonder if I can wash the vase out or something. Or fill it with water. No, this would ruin the ash inside. Oh, I want to keep the ash. Okay. I have no idea what I'm actually going to do with it, though. Oh, Jesus. Hello? Who are you? Can't you hear me? I'm Fran. Hmm. Oh! Okay, it's gone. Oh my goodness, the smell! Poor girl. Who could have done this and why? I need to be careful and protect my kitty and myself. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool. Antonio, the greatest. Queen of meat. The Blueberry Tree Volume 2. Huh, wait a minute. Is that the big ant from the woods? It could be him, only a bit younger. Jance. I think I saw this name earlier. Yeah, it was on the drum. Oh my god, that's so cool. Oh, a record player. I wonder if it works. Let's see. Is that Jance playing right now? Oh, there, it works. Maybe I should keep it down. Hmm. Nah, I keep playing it. Come on. typewriter, and it works. I guess I could write, but there's no paper. And a good writer has to know what to write about first. Owls and cats are a bit alike. Both are curious. Both like to kill mice. And both are good companions of witches. There are many books and things on the shelf. So many that it makes me dizzy. I'll just leave it there. Many tiny paintings. And there's a cat. When I grow up, I will have lots of cat paintings on my walls. And other things too, but I'm not grown up yet. Burning candles. Seems like anywhere in the house brings you back here. I'm gonna keep trying, though. You never know. Maybe something different will happen in a different room.
Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to go upstairs and see what awaits me.